Uh, I love the Metroidvania genre. If only there were Metroidvanias that weren't Metroid or Castlevania. And if only I could rank them in some sort of list based off of the ones that I've played. Ah, uh, but Tyler, you can. Who the fuck just said that? Top 5 Metroidvanias that aren't Metroid or Castlevania. It's hard to improve on a platformer with really solid platforming, so where do you go from there? Well, why not add even more Metroidvania aspects, including even more navigation methods, upgrades, and ditching the clunky transformations of the previous two games, and you have Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Pirate's Curse makes it on the list by the sheer fact that the folks at Way Forward managed to somehow improve the series to new heights by making an extremely well-controlled, polished, and fun Metroidvania. Honestly, the Pirate Gear was the best thing that ever happened to the series and easily became my favorite of the Shantae games. It's a shame that Half Genie Hero couldn't live up to its predecessor. What's better than a beat-em-up Metroidvania with tons of video game references? How about a multiplayer beat-em-up with heavy Hispanic influences and a game that lets you suplex the enemies? Guacamelee is the only game on this list that you can play with up to four players, and that's something I feel more Metroidvanias need. The game can get a bit hectic at times, but I feel that adds to the experience, and quite honestly, if it wasn't for the multiplayer, this game probably would have been lower on the list if not off the list. I'm probably gonna get shit for putting it here, but Axiom Verge is number three. It plays just like a Metroid game. I love the setting and difficulty. It just kinda plays like a Metroid game, and that's really all I can say about it. But Tyler, why is it number three then? Because it plays like a really good Metroid game. Almost sort of like a proper sequel to Super Metroid. And I know Metroid Fusion is a thing, but Metroid Fusion doesn't really play like Super Metroid, it kind of plays like its own game, which isn't bad. Long before Cuphead, this was the game that was known for its hand-drawn animation. Also, being funded by Microsoft, which is weird now that I think about it. Dust plays like no Metroidvania I've ever played. It's a fantastically animated hack and slash with a compelling story, characters, and a light crafting system long before crafting was in everything. Dust is so much fun to play and makes you feel like a badass capable of taking down armies of enemies. Now it's time for an honorable mention, and uh, this is kind of just here because a game was released in the process of me making this video that I had had my eye on, and that was Iconoclast. It looks like a really solid Metroidvania, and the only reason it's not on this list is because it came out too late while I was making this video. So yeah, just uh, check out Iconoclast. I don't think I've ever played such a well put together game before I played Hollow Knight. The game oozes personality with its setting, characters, and world. Hollow Knight manages to do a massive open explorable world without skimping on the small details. The gameplay is so freaking polished and good. At no point did I ever think that the game was cheap or broken. Just my skills as a player and my equipment wasn't up to snuff yet. There is so much customization when it comes to badges, you can practically have any build you'd like. Do you want to go through the game using nothing but your energy blasts? Go ahead. Do you want to tank your way through? You can do that too. You just have to explore Hollow Knight's vast world. There is so much content in this game that I'm certain it has more to do in it than most AAA games. I wouldn't say Hollow Knight is forgiving. You can't just slash your way through the game, but it is by far one of the best Metroidvanias I have played to date, and you all need to pick this game up. Team Cherry managed to provide a very interesting and great game, plus they added a free expansion to the game, expanding its size even more.
That's it. That's my list of my top five non-Metroidvania slash Castlevania Metroidvanias. If you agree or disagree, leave a comment. Anyways, guys, I'm GPC Tyler, and I will see you all next time. Bye.